What's going on, car family? I'm Ben Wayne. I'm Isha Wayne. And thank you for joining us in another video. Today, we are in the 2022 Cadillac CT4V Blackwing. I've gotten dozens of emails and requests to review this car, and I finally have it here. And stay tuned with us for a few more weeks. We'll have the CT5V Blackwing as well. Okay, all right. So this one is done in a blinding electric blue and features a natural leather interior. Isha, what are your thoughts? I hate it. You hate it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the color is so awful to me. And the interior, I'm sorry, someone failed at designing this one. At the color combination yeah. you don't like? No. <laughs> All right, well, our audience is going to care about more of the performance figures. Right. Of course, this comes in different colors. So let's just start with... Uh, up front, you know, we already did a full in-depth review on the CT4V, so if you want to get into the nitty-gritty details, check that video out. But since we're doing a driving review, we'll just cover what's different on this Blackwing model. So up front, the first thing you notice is grills everywhere. Large, functional grills. There's a huge functional grill for the radiator. Right above the front splitter, another small grill for the radiator. On either side, you have intakes for your brake cooling, so everything is functional. Now, if there's one thing I can't stand, that are, that is performance vehicles that have fake vents. This is not one of those vehicles. <laughs> so everything up there that you see in black is functional. I like the little Vs that's been incorporated in the grill's design as well. Now, you also might notice their carbon fiber accents up front. It's not there just to look good. While it does look good, it's functional as well. So you have two canards, one canard on either side, in conjunction with a front carbon fiber splitter, that's gonna get you additional downforce on that front axle. So that's gonna help hunker the car down to the ground at speed. It didn't stop there though. Cadillac went ahead and implemented an underwing at the front of the vehicle underneath the car, and that also helps suck the car to the ground. So downforce is the name of the game there. <laughs> you see, I'm holding on. I haven't even, I haven't even opened this thing up yet. Uh, I just have to be prepared. All right, so let me tell you what you need to be prepared for. Underneath the hood, we have a 3.6 liter twin turbocharged six cylinder motor that's putting out 472 horses, 445 pound feet of torque, zero to 60 in just 3.9 seconds. So that is a huge difference from the standard CT4V model. This Blackwing takes it up a notch. So, what does all that mean? I'll show you in a second. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> So when I drove the original CT4V, not the Blackwing model, it left a lot to be desired. But this one, <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> it delivers. It delivers. It truly delivers. This is such a fun car to drive and it just gets better. As shown, this has a 10 speed automatic transmission, but standard is a six speed manual transmission. Remember I said car enthusiasts enjoy manual transmission cars when we reviewed the Mini Cooper S? Right. So this one comes standard with a manual six-speed gearbox, and it allows for flat foot shifting. So guys, what flat foot shifting is, is essentially shifting the car manually, but you do the opposite of what you're told to do when driving a manual. Essentially, you can keep your foot down on that accelerator without having to lift off, and that allows for rapid gear shifts and then even better acceleration. Right, so um, if you're getting this car, I would say manual would be the way to go. We're gonna do a quick pull here. Hold on to your butt, okay? I'm doing it from second. <laughs> so just a quick pull there. This thing really handles nicely. It does. It's nice and planted on the ground. The suspension feels super firm. I have it in V mode here. It has good uh, handling. Yeah, it definitely does. So when you look at the side profile, this one's fitted with 18 inch wheels. Um, in my opinion, I wish they were like 19 they look a little bit small compared to the rest of the body. That's just my opinion though. Of course you have gloss black accents as well. And that sounds good. <laughs> 
that that really sounds good. <laughs> it was just really good, huh? <laughs> yeah. This has the magnetic ride 4.0. Uh, that is your suspension system, adjust up to a thousand times per second. You also have an electronic limited slip differential as well. So the handling is truly there with this car. Suspension is super firm and V mode. The car feels super put together. Um, and part of that is just due to the structural integrity of the vehicle. For example, underneath the hood, there are two braces there. You'll notice um, when we talked about the power plant, you'll see two braces underneath the hood. That's going to help with the car's structural integrity, give you that feeling of, you know, it gives you a sense of this car is built to do a purpose, right? It's built for the track. So it's going to give you a sense of confidence. And you can definitely feel that in the handling of this vehicle. Coming towards the back, you have the traditional Cadillac proportions there with the rear light blades that match the front headlight blades that you see up front. I really love the sharpness of those light blades up front, by the way, that service the daytime running lamps. But that design language is echoed in the rear. The rear is nice and clean. You do have a huge carbon fiber black wing on the yeah. back that sits on top of the trunk lid. Now, if you look at the car from the exterior, you'll notice that the black wing, the carbon fiber wing itself, is higher on the exterior portions and lower on the center portion. So I imagine that there are two reasons for that. One is that it's not going to interfere with your rear visibility. But most importantly, it's the functionality. The center portion of that rear wing is lower than the outer portions is because the center portion is not going to see as nearly as much clean air as the outer portions are. So if it was higher in the center portion, it wouldn't be nearly as effective as the outer portions are, and it would block your view. So the outer portion is getting way more clean air because it doesn't have this huge canopy to get over. So you're getting clean air there. So at speed, you're getting up to 170 pounds of downforce with that rear wing, which is just, it seems like downforce is the theme for this car. So Isha, you say you're impressed with the handling, but you don't like the looks. What's the deal? Oh, it's just the color. The color. Uh, yeah, um, the way the overall look of the actual vehicle, it's it's great. I've it's seen a it sharp before. Car. It looks good on the road. Mm -hmm. um, I just wish there was a better color combination, which anyone can change. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, the natural with the electric blue. I mean, it's, it just doesn't go. It's not my style, but somebody likes it, right? Right, right. <laughs> um, I do like the gloss black accents in the rear, along with the gloss black exhaust finishers. This thing pulls. This is way different from the standard CT4 V model. Way different. You hear that exhaust? Yeah, I've been hearing it the whole time, <laughs> every day. <laughs> I mean, this one makes you feel so alive. I mean, we're talking about over a hundred horsepower difference from the standard V model to the Blackwing. I mean, that standard V model has a four cylinder. This one, that 3.6 liter is coming through on this car. It really is. This is a remarkably fun car to drive and I just wish I got the manual six speed one so I could do that flat foot shifting. This is just incredible. So I guess we can talk about the interior now. What are your thoughts on the interior design? -ish? Oh, I think the uh, interior design is really nice. The seats are very comfortable. Side bolstering on, you know, up here and um, by your legs. Mm -hmm. um, Alcantara. Oh, there's no Alcantara. Oh, my goodness. So there's Alcantara on the seats, on the rear of the seats oh, and on the headliner but here. But this, for some reason, looked like Alcantara. Right. Did you see that? So this is an injection molded material uh -huh. here. But uh, up here, look it, like... It looks a little bit like yeah. Alcantara at a glance. It was a fake me out, but it looked good. Right. <laughs> so, um, when it comes to the competition, I think the interiors of the competitors shine a little bit. Um, Cadillac kind of played it safe here, and it seems like they put most of the focus on performance. I will right. say that. Yeah, overall, I, I, I can agree to that. Um, right. There's some things that I can tell that they cut corners, but, I mean... Do I hate it? No. It's a Cadillac. Right, it looks right. good. It still has the overall look of um, Cadillac, you know, from the outside in. I look for those things that kind of... Yeah, those lines. Yeah. Yep. You do have a uh, smaller display, but it does have Apple CarPlay. You can see that here. Yeah. So you just slowed 
down traffic. <laughs> Those people were like, what is going on well, here? Well, the Miata was taking a turn in front of me and oh, slowed me oh, down, so I took it I'm sorry. Of I, I was just admiring the lines <laughs> in the vehicle. <laughs> All right, so coming further down, you do have wireless charging, an electronic gear selector. Again, manual transmission is available. Two cup holders, carbon fiber accents there. Coming over to the steering wheel is done in black leather, and then a red leather portion for your 12 o'clock strip there. Um, again, track focus is the name of the game. Aluminum shift paddles, carbon fiber accents on the steering wheel as well, with a thin film transistor screen on the back, um, sitting behind the steering wheel for your display. The seating is fairly comfortable, three levels of cooling, three levels of heating as well. Um, I know you got your ventilated seat on now, on the lowest setting. Oh. I do. So I need to bump it out because you couldn't feel it. No, I could. <laughs> I just didn't realize it. <laughs> I definitely could feel it. Seating is firm. It's nice. It, definitely love the gloss black accents on the seats. Behind the seats, it's done in the suede material. It almost In the back, it almost looks like a transformer or like a super built bodybuilder <laughs> or something, doesn't it? With all the diamond stitching yeah. and the perforation. Yeah. There's a lot going on back there. Now, this is their <laughs> compact size sports sedan. Yeah. So, um, guys, I'm going to be real with you. Adults it's sitting in tight. the back, that's going to be a tight fit, right? Yeah. That's going to be a tight fit. It's not a regular fit. bench seat. It kind of, you kind of are slanted back. And I think it does it on purpose to try to allow for your legs to have yep. some room. So, it's kind of like this. You're sitting yeah, at a slant. Yeah, you're sitting at an angle back. Yeah. And, so, it's really tight back there, I'm going to be honest with you. Um you saw the video I did on the CT4V, the standard model. We went over that. Uh, it's exactly almost the same body, so the proportions on the interior going to be the same. So that's what you're looking at. Again, this is Cadillac's compact model. So when we review the CT5V, that's going to have a bit more space in it. But overall, this is a nice vehicle. You're looking at about $77,000 as shown. Um, on this particular vehicle. So guys, I really want to know, you know, what you think about this car? What do you think about the Blackwing, especially compared to the traditional CT4V? You know, when I tested that car, I was like, I was a little disappointed. But the Blackwing just, it just, it takes it to another level in every way, shape, and form, honestly. Especially with the option to have that, uh, flat foot shifting six-speed manual gearbox hold on to your butt uh -oh. ready this thing just get up it, it just gets up and goes man yeah i didn't jerk my neck <laughs> that suspension's a little stiff for you though isn't it? it is <laughs> Man, this is this is a fun car to drive. This one right here, I'd say this is this is one of the good ones. This is an awesome sports sedan if you're looking for one. And the fact that, you know, they're listening to what people want as far as offering a manual and not just leaving you with a 10-speed automatic as standard, you know, that says something. So that's my thoughts on this one. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel check out some of the other videos I've done that'll help with the algorithm. And until next time, I'm Ben Wayne, the automotive reviewer that YouTube deserves.